Hello YouTube. Um, so we're here at mCreator's site and we're going to be starting a new series. Um, the series is going to be for this version right here, uh, mCreator 1.5.6 for Minecraft 1.7.10. We are first go well, let's start at finding it. Um, if you, it's not up here, if uh, mCreator happens to move 1.8 down to here, then um, then you just need to find it right there in the older versions. Um, what else? Oh yeah, uh, the reason we're not doing 1.8 is because it just came out yesterday and there's a lot of bugs still needing to be fixed. Um, but th this version 1.5.6 is actually very stable. For the most part, there's a few problems, like plants won't be able to be done, but I have some plans in the works for that. Um, the other thing was something else, but, oh, Techni models. Techni models can't be used for that. It causes some um, compiling errors or something like that when you export your mod and you try to use it. But um, outside of that, we we can work our way around those two things pretty pretty easily. So, um, okay, after you download the um, exe, you want the exe, not the zip. Um, then what you're going to do is, if I go into my downloads folder, uh, you're going to run the e exe, and it's going to basically put together a or uninstall or uh, it's going to extract a folder in your C drive called Pilo M creator 1.5.6 and then you're going to once it's done you're going to run the um, application right here and if that doesn't work then try the bat file which is M creator Windows batch file um, once it's finished installing Forge and um, downloading and all the other stuff, you, you should be able to log in. Um, now you don't need to set up a Java path for this program anymore. It has Java built into it now. So that's one less thing you need to mess around with your computer. So no more paths. Um, you don't need it. Um, Outside of that, oh yeah, um, for your saves in your um, test environment, you will go to Forge, Eclipse, and then there's saves, and then your saves will be here. Um, I believe your config and stuff for your mod and stuff will be here, but uh, you don't really need to worry about that too much resource pack so if you want to test it with a resource pack or whatever you can put a resource pack in there um, outside of that not too much you need to know in these folders workspace is where our, I think your workspace stuff goes and data whatever so uh, oh no this is where your mods go anyhow you don't need to mess around with that too much M creators are pretty lenient when it comes to um, using things from the program itself so alright so with that being said you oh um, you can also actually I don't have it done so go to your computer um, C drive pilo right click on M creator 1.5.6 and send to desktop shortcut and now we have a shortcut. I'm just going to rename it mCreator 1.5.6. And the one last thing you want to do is go into mCreator 1. Point, or 1.5.6. I say 1.5.6, whatever. Um, and send the exe to your desktop as well. Um, this just makes it easier to access the files and you don't need to go to your computer, C drive, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so after that, 
um, you want to start up mCreator for the first time and it will probably install Forge and stuff at this very moment if you've already installed Forge or it's already installed Forge then um, yeah this is just because it's um, there's a new update it will, it will do this every time <laughs> and it will take you to a website as well anyhow um, and you'll be able to log in and if you have account with Pilo, if not, then you can, what do you call it, um, just continue. Now, there's a few changes with the GUI, and I'm going to cover that as quickly as possible with as much detail. Um, when you start up, you have your main workspace. Um, you can choose between workspaces here on the side. Uh, you can rename workspaces. Um, with or current rename current workspace so all you do is click on that type your new name in so right now I don't have anything so YouTube all right, now I have one called YouTube um, you can import an MCR file which is basically a workspace file uh, export current uh, workspace to MCR file so that's where you would export your workspace um, export current workspace to Eclipse. So if you have Eclipse installed and know some coding and want to change some stuff to your mod or whatever, then you can export it to Eclipse. Workspace up at the top here is um, where you'll probably be spending most of your time. Uh, you ha you can do a, add uh, things to do and stuff like that. It's very simple. You just click on the plus button, uh, type your uh, task in like make block and then it'll ask you what kind of priority and I'll put it at normal you can choose what kind of priority it is and then bingo you have a new um, to-do list um, the browser is where all your mods will show up if they don't show up then you just hit the refresh button and they'll show up um, I think they'll go under sources or maybe not I can't remember <laughs> anyhow um, we're not going to be adding variables or editing global events because there's some there's a problem with one of them I can't remember which but variables can be f pretty helpful in some cases but I can't remember which one is which so we're not going to touch that during this tutorial um, or this series should I say um, what else? Create a new element. This is basically the same thing as last time, only um, you choose. We'll be covering all this in different videos. Um, okay, so you can edit an element. So if you have an element such as a mod or whatever, then you want to edit it, change the settings and stuff. You can do that by edit element as long as it's selected. You can delete the selected element, delete all elements, uh, view source export mod which is the same as this button right up here uh, publish mod which publishes it to the M Creator website and preferences um, preferences allows you to change some stuff if I wouldn't suggest touching anything <laughs> here um, without knowing what you're doing but um you can do the change the test environment um, settings and stuff like that if you want and basic settings move uh, I wouldn't suggest clicking that <laughs> alright so that's pretty much it for that tools um, here are a whole bunch of tools you can use um, I'll quickly go over some of them so this one you can import and um, import block and item textures. Um, I think you can create item texture, item block textures with this. You can create animated textures with this. Um, create armor texture. Now this is different from importing. Importing armor texture. So if you have one actually made already, then you can import it here. Um, import three or MC skin 3D mob texture. Um, add custom 
excuse me, uh, sound, add um, custom sound for record, add ab, the uh, abminent sound or music or whatever. Now this is like background music and stuff that randomly appears when you're doing whatever, right? Um, create a recipe slash smelting image. So this is like um, if you were on wiki and you look up a crafting recipe or whatever on wiki, then this is the same as that. Um, recompile. So this basically makes sure that all the code is properly compiled and stuff like that puts it all together. Um, run Gradle, whatever task. Don't if you don't know what you're doing with that, don't even play around with it because you can mess up your M creator. Um, export to local Minecraft. So this is basically exporting zipping and everything to your local Minecraft. This will remove it to your local Minecraft. Now I'm pretty sure you need um, the same version of Minecraft installed so we will be testing that or I will be testing it and then doing a video on it if uh, I can figure out how to do it. Um, launch M Creator or relaunch M Creator. So M Creator will sometimes get very laggy and it'll be hard to do anything. It'll take a long time to actually put together something so or change settings or whatever so you generally most of the time you can actually hit the re uh, relaunch M Creator and it will refresh things. Sometimes it's desktop related, so I suggest just refreshing your desktop a number of times, and you should be able to continue using M Creator. Now, factory reset, unless you want to lose all your data and um, textures, don't ever click that. That will um, <laughs> reset entirely all your textures, all your modifications or elements and basically reinstall um, M Creator. So that's that's a no-no. <laughs> Alright, uh, launch Techni. We won't be actually using Techni for this series because there is a um, bug, should I say, where Techni models um, cause the modification to um, like when you export your mod to crash the game, so we won't be using Techni. And launch MC Skin 3D. Now this has always been with M Creator from pretty much the get go, so um, that's like skin stuff for mobs and stuff. We probably will be using some of this. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I have to kind of remember how to use it and stuff. Alright, so moving on. Console. Um, this is where all your... Um, basically when it's compiling and stuff, you'll be able to see if it works or doesn't work. If it doesn't work, you'll get um, a bunch of red text. If it, it, if it compiles properly, then you'll get a bright green text. And yeah, that's about all you need to know. Um, outside of it screaming at you and saying, ah, it didn't work. After something goes wrong, it will list which modificator element um, is not working properly and you just have to figure out what um, went wrong with that. Uh, these next two buttons right here, um, this starts the Minecraft client test environment and this will check to see if the server starts properly with the, ser or with the modifications. Uh, it doesn't actually, it like starts the server and then we'll shut it down um, but check to see if the code is properly working nothing too big. Um, outside of that, uh, that's it for the first um, tutorial. Like I'm not going to be covering paint.net or anything else for textures, I'm just going to, because I've already done that and if you need to know how to use paint.net I suggest going to my first series and um, just looking at the video for paint.net and how to do the textures and everything like that. It's not too difficult. Um, okay, so this is more like an interface and installation tutorial. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you found this video helpful or have any questions, feel free to comment. 
Um, I do read my comments when I have time, and I do reply most to most of them as much as I can. <laughs> Sometimes there's a lot of comments, and I have to work my way through them. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.